you inhale deep enough, it'll make its way in your lungs, and that will get in your bloodstream. We're gonna go have breakfast with the parents. They're cooking us bacon and eggs. So guys, welcome to our day. I also wanted to say it is so nice having them here because they cook us food. It's not the only reason. It's not the only reason, but that is a big plus. Cause it's like, I always have to cook and when they're here, I don't have to cook as much. Oh, I can smell the bacon. Hey, Greasy. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Oh, it smells good. We all see our house. What you doing there, babe? So the parents went. Okay, just to let y'all know, and I know we've said this in the beginning of being in Denver, but camping here is like slim to none. It's like slim to none. It's very difficult to find camping here. There's a lot of campsites here at the Cherry Creek State Park. Um, and then there's another state park that's called Chatfield. And they have spots, but you have to reserve those well, well, well in advance. And any other campground, which are very seldom campgrounds here, they're very expensive, probably like $800 to $900 a month. Um, so the state park is the way to go. If y'all are ever wanting to come to Denver and camp at Denver, you are going to need to go ahead and book your reservations months in advance, I would say at the least, because it is super busy here. With that said, Taylor's parents had to move every, almost every single day, different spots because there's no consecutive 10 day reservation open but um so they're going to Chatfield State Park today and then they're coming they're going to a different campground I think they found one tomorrow and then they're coming back to Cherry Creek State Park Monday Sunday I'm not really sure but anyways we're gonna go hang out with them Taylor is draining the gas out of his motorcycle because it's been knocking right mm -hmm. so he's trying to fix that I'm gonna go walk Zoe and then we're gonna go see the parents. This is really nice. Here's the park. So once again, we're at Chatfield State Park and we're a lot closer to the mountains than we have been before. Um, so we're gonna hang out with them and then we're gonna go to a whiskey tasting later, which I'm really excited about. Look at that. Now we're going to go taste some whiskey.
another great day with the parents. Another great day. I am so exhausted. It's a great experience, but not a whiskey Ooh, drinking. Ooh, just like burned. And I understand like you can get different like notes and aromas and like flavors. I I, and, but it was a lot of fun. I mean, I could tell some were not as harsh as others. Yeah. That's like the only Sweet. difference I could tell. Yeah. Alright guys, I am sitting here editing the vlog and I realized that when we got back we didn't say enough good things about Stranahan's. Uh, when we got back we were just really, really exhausted. We had a long night and um, I just wanted to give credit to all the guys at Stranahan's because they were all super knowledgeable and it is really, the selling whiskey um, is a craft that they have mastered and um, it was really cool. The tour was awesome. We got to learn. Uh, how to make uh, whiskey, like all aspects of it, everything that goes into it, and there's so much more that goes into it that, um, you know, we had no idea about. Uh, and I think it's just whiskey drinkers, it's just an acquired taste that Kelsey and I, my, you know, it, we just haven't acquired that yet. And uh, it's just like with everything, you know, uh, you have to practice your craft. and. We just don't drink enough whiskey to be able to pull those aromas and those flavors out um, when we taste the different whiskeys. But uh, just seeing what went into making it uh, makes us appreciate it even more. And those people are super passionate about it. Like I said, they're super knowledgeable, super helpful, and it was an awesome tour. I just wanted to say that because we didn't say enough good things about it and I didn't want to discredit their ability and their talent because they spend all their time mastering that and uh, you have to realize when somebody has put the time into something you have to give them credit for it and I just wanted to give them credit for it it was awesome guys thank you for the tour and uh, yeah I just want to say that so back to the vlog yeah it was fun Taylor's parents are moving again tomorrow mm -hmm. and we will have already have had the live video up once this vlog is up so definitely check out that live video. We will have already talked about CF and kind of the perspective of parents. Because we get, we get a lot of questions about well like 65 apparel gets a lot of questions about like new parents and yeah if they should do this what i do blah 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 so it's yeah hopefully some of those parents got on there and asked us some good questions yeah we'll it's weird because it. you're seeing this after but we're making this before yeah because we're always two days behind on our blogs but if you kind of want to see what's going on currently i'm always posting up on instagram what we're doing the day that we're doing it and facebook so guys if you did like today's vlog give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow where are my puppies at where are my puppies at oh there's a rusty there's a rusty boy where's donnie where's donnie oh donnie oh donnie oh my goodness rusty yes